Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in to another exciting edition of Scruff's Garage. This week, we've got a new part to install. Uh, this is the clutch return spring kit from the good folks over at Lingenfelter Performance. Now, if you've tuned in to any of my previous episodes, you know I've been dealing with the very common Corvette issue of loss of uh, clutch pressure after several high RPM shifts. Uh, if you've seen some of my previous videos, uh, I installed the Tick Performance Clutch Master Cylinder uh, in an attempt to remedy this issue, and for a lot of folks that takes care of it. And while it did make my condition better, I did not take care of it completely, as I found out at my track event uh, a few weeks ago. So the next step uh, is this kit from Lingenfelter Performance. Uh, relatively inexpensive, uh, though it's a very simple kit too. Uh, so what do you get for your $80 spent with Lingenfelter? Uh, probably the most important piece is this bracket here. Uh, it's a billet aluminum piece. This goes around your clutch pedal and gives you something to attach this return spring to. And this goes forward up under the dash uh, to a cross member. Uh, you'll take a bolt out that goes through this end of it. This re provides uh, a pull back on the clutch pedal to return it uh, after a shift. Now it is going to add some additional um, effort to pressing the clutch pedal down, so you may have to give that some consideration. Uh, I'll give you a review after I've got it installed and had a chance to go for a ride. Um, so you also get this spring. Uh, it has a nice little plastic uh, sheathing to go over it. It helps prevent um, wiring or anything like that that's under the dash from getting pinched in the spring. Uh, could create electrical short or something of that nature. Uh, though the sheathing is relatively short, and once this thing is uh, stretched out, I'm not sure how much it's going to do. Uh, you also get a genuine Lingenfelter uh, zip tie. Uh, there's a set screw that goes into the side of this. This locks the bracket in place on the, uh, the clutch pedal. And then there's a, a set uh, nut here that will go on on the end of it once you get it into place to lock it in so it doesn't back out. And then most importantly, worth 5 horsepower, you get the Lingenfelter Performance Engineering sticker. So that's got to be worth $80 in and of itself. So relatively simple kit. There are some uh, interior components that we'll have to take apart. Um, I'll walk you through those and show you how uh, this piece gets installed and then we'll we do a review afterwards and let you know how it works. Alright guys, we're over here at the car. So the first thing we need to do from an interior perspective is to remove this lower uh, knee bolster. So there are four uh, T15 uh, screws that hold it in place. Uh, two of them are on the bottom down here. The other two are behind these um, accessory panels. So there's one here and there's one over here on the other side uh, that's behind the ambient air temperature sensor. Uh, so we'll start with these. So this is really easy to get to. A um, little flathead screwdriver behind the, the panel and work it out. Uh, there's just a, a clip in there that holds it uh, in place and then disconnect the connector on the back and we can set this aside so it doesn't get damaged and then it's kind of hard to see probably on the camera but there's a uh, the Torx head uh, screw in there so we'll reach in go. and pull that out uh, we'll do the same thing on the other side if I can get this where you can see it. Yeah, we'll find that later. And then there's the other uh, T15. Simple enough. Now, that if you're following the instructions that Lingenfelter provides, set this back here. Um, there is a panel, a uh, trim panel that you really can't see that sits up under the dash. Now, I already had this uninstalled um, from doing the clutch master cylinder and needing to get to the clutch pedal uh, and the linkage and that sort of thing. So I hadn't reinstalled this uh, because I wasn't sure if I was going to have to make any adjustments um, to the clutch pedal rod to the master cylinder. But if you haven't been doing that work, you'll have to take this down. So at the front, uh, it sits in here like this. So these two are just um, uh, plastic clips, little like fr friction clips. Um, so just get under there with something and you can pry these down and they'll both uh, come out. 
Now, in the back corner, uh, there's a stud that protrudes through uh, back under the dash, and there's a metal clip that holds this in place. And if you haven't taken it down before, uh, that metal clip, it takes a lot of work uh, to get down, and I would recommend just discarding it uh, when you're done. Uh, this panel weighs absolutely nothing, so you really don't need that piece to hold it uh, in place. And it makes it a nightmare every time you have to work under the dash. Uh, so that's what I did. In fact, I haven't reinstalled this, and it's been several months. Uh, so continuing along, the next two things we have to remove are the two screws uh, here on the bottom. There we go. So we have the four screws out, so this lower uh, bolster is ready to come out. Now as you lower it down, you have to make sure that you clear everything uh, in here so that you don't damage anything. There's still uh, some more just clips to hold it in place. There we go. So unfortunately mine has been out several times and some of the other uh, clips have been damaged. So mine comes out probably a little easier than what yours may. Um, but it is what it is. So we can set this bolster piece to the side. So this cross member here is what we're going to attach to. And actually it's this bolt uh, right here. Um, there's a nut. There's a nut on top that will loosen so that we can back this bolt down. Um, and then this is what the other end of the spring uh, we'll attach to. Uh, we'll have to move this harness out of the way and that's what the zip tie is for. Uh, so we'll move on to that step. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a, a visual. So this is a uh, 13 millimeter nut on the top and it's the same thing for the, the head of the bolt down here. Um, so I use just a, a deep socket uh, to get this nut uh, loose. Uh, it does take a little bit of effort. It, it's fairly snug. Uh, but once you get it loose then you can uh, turn the uh, the bolt by hand we're just going to back it down a little bit enough that we'll be able to get the um, the spring over the uh, the bolt and then we'll tighten things back up okay so I got the spring over the head of the uh, the bolt had to back it out uh, fairly significantly but and you have to kind of uh, work with it just a little bit but you'll get the, uh, the end of the spring over the the bolt uh, now we're ready to put the uh, the bracket on, it goes over the clutch pedal like so. Uh, make sure you get it above this uh, this tab here, that's what keeps it from, from sliding down. Get the set screw. The locking nut on as well. I'm going to down here in a second. So now we got to get the spring stretched far enough right from here uh, to there. All right. This is the uh, the tricky part. Getting that spring stretched far enough. Okay. So here's a picture of the spring installed uh, between the cross member and the clutch pedal uh, bracket. Um, sorry I didn't catch that on, on film. Uh, I had a, uh, tried a couple of times just to get it just right. It's kind of hard to, to see with the camera set up. Um, but I did stretch it uh, by hand. Um, so the spring is it's tight, but it, it's not um, something you have to have a special tool to, to stretch it or anything like that. So I still need to tighten the, uh, the bolt here on the, the cross member. Uh, but then we'll get back to putting together the rest of the, uh, the pieces. And now we're almost done. Oh, and if you're wondering what the uh, the zip tie is for, that's to hold this harness here um, out of the way so it doesn't get caught in the uh, the spring. Um, so just find a spot that you feel like is uh, out of the way of the spring, and then we'll wrap the zip tie um, around this this harness, uh, and then we'll hold it out of place. Okay, so the rest of the project is pretty straightforward. Just put that uh, lower bolster back on clean up the interior and you're pretty much done. Um, I just got back from uh, test driving in the car 
Um, it's a little early to say if it's resolved my uh, clutch pedal issue. I, I live in a residential area, um, so it's hard to replicate that and not get arrested. Um, so I'll follow up on, on that after I've had a chance to, uh, to play with it some. Uh, my next track day is not too far out. Um, I'll be able to give a better report there. Uh, what I will say though, talking about the additional um, effort required to press the, the clutch pedal in, <clears throat> it is noticeable. I mean, as soon as you get in, that was the first thing I noticed when you're pressing in the clutch pedal, that it is heavier. Um, though honestly, that's probably not that big of a deal. The Probably the more noticeable part is actually in letting the clutch pedal out uh, if you're not racing. Uh, you're just driving to dinner or to the movies and you have a passenger and you're trying to be smooth with the clutch. Um, try not to shake the car around or whoever your passenger is. Um, that does require a bit more uh, leg muscle effort to control how quickly you let out the, the clutch pedal. So we'll see. I, I can imagine at the moment if you were stuck in traffic, stop and roll in and out of the clutch a thousand times if you're in bumper to bumper traffic, uh, it might really suck. Uh, so think about that before you, you do this. I think Lingenfelter probably could have used a, um, a lighter spring, perhaps. Um, and I could probably go to the hardware store and find a, a lighter spring. Um, and maybe I'll do that. I, we'll, we'll see. Um, though for 80 bucks, I, I really shouldn't have to. But overall, the, the kit's pretty decent. We'll see if it fixes my, my issue. Um, but there are a few drawbacks with the, the clutch pedal uh, heaviness, letting it out, uh, and that sort of thing. So plan accordingly, uh, but if this fixes the issue, then uh, I'd probably be willing to deal with it. Thanks, guys. One last thing, if you really enjoy Scruff's Garage and all the videos that I can bring to you, product reviews, installations, that sort of thing, please be sure to like and subscribe down at the bottom. It uh, helps me know that you are, you are enjoying what I'm doing. Um, and I'll bring you more videos just like it. Thanks, guys.